Hey everyone, I'm Dave. I'm Anna Mae. So, in honor of that big football game that everyone talks about every year, we are going to talk about way more awesome sports than football. Exactly. We're going to be talking about a couple of sci-fi fantasy sports that are um, pretty badass. We're going to try and figure out which one is the most badass. We're going to talk about two different sports. One, a very famous fictional sport from the world of Harry Potter. Quidditch. Which I guess in a way is... Only quasi-fictional now, but the real Quidditch is definitely fictional, considering people are flying on brooms. Yeah, until they make witches. flying brooms, until they make yeah. a real Nimbus 2000. And also, uh, another very scary, very violent sport from mm -hmm. the world of Star Trek. Yes, Parisi Squares. Which one is the most badass? So first off, we're going to talk about the fictional sport that you all probably know about, and that's Quidditch. Mm -hmm. Now, this is from, of course, the Harry Potter series. Yeah, we've seen it played in the movies. Yep, it's popular amongst the kids at Hogwarts, but also there's a World Cup of Quidditch. Yes, we've actually even seen it played by normal people, not wizards, at yeah. conventions. It's not quite it's as not exciting. Even really, I wish they would call it Quidditch. <laughs> it's not really Quidditch, is it? You know, it I mean, is, no one's flying. If you use it's your... not way above the earth. If you use your imagination, uh, no, it's no, Quidditch. No, no, I don't, I, don't need, I don't need that, okay? If you use your imagination, the Buffalo Bills have won the Super Bowl every year. Right, that's why they still have fans. Okay, listen, this is the point, okay? Quidditch... It's easy enough to understand. Each team has seven players, three chasers, two beaters, one keeper, and the seeker. That's you. And essentially, there's like these guys called chasers, right? Now, the chasers handle the quaffle and try to put it through one of those three hoops. And that's the most basic kind of, oh, I get that's a sport like any other kind of sport. But mm -hmm. then it gets complicated. Because then there's a thing called the bludgers. Yes. And those are basically metal shot puts made of iron that go and they just attack anyone around. Mm -hmm. It's really scary. But there is one defense against the bludgers. It's the beaters, like Ron's brothers. Exactly. These are the guys or girls that have a bat, and basically their job is to protect their teammates from the bludger that goes around and tries to hit them, but they can also whack the bludger and try to hit one of the opposing team's members. Violent! Exactly. Of course, we also have, like, the Golden Snitch. Now, let's not forget that the Golden Snitch, the only way to end a game is to catch the Golden Snitch. This means that games could last for years. Yeah, they, yes. I mean, if you don't have good Seekers, or, you know, if uh, all your Seekers get, like, bopped on the head by Blodgers, yeah. what are you going to do? You're, You're out playing of commission. Ever. It's super crazy. I mean, basically, those bludgers, those iron balls can hit you and you'll fall off your broom, okay? It's like you run into people. I mean, people use elbows. In the rules, you're not supposed to use your elbows excessively. You right. can still elbow people, okay? Well, I mean, isn't that like most sports? You know, you're sort of able to go like, uh, Yeah, but uh, you're not like 100 feet up in the, in yeah, the air. Well, you know what? Like, you're also elbows. not a wizard. <laughs> That's true. Uh, but either way, I mean, come on. This is super, super violent and super, super awesome. But let's switch for a second. We know Quidditch is badass. We right. know it's scary. Mm -hmm. But what about... Parisi Squares. Exactly. Now, Parisi Squares is from the Star Trek universe. You know, we, we hear about it in Star Trek The Next Generation. We see people going off to play Parisi Squares. We know it's violent. Uh, we know that you could break your neck playing. Yes. That's uh, what Beverly Crusher told Riker. Mm -hmm. You're going to break your neck, and that's going to be even harder for me to fix. That's right. Well, I can heal it, of course. But you've got to stop playing Parisi Squares as if you're 21 years old. One of these days you're going to fall and break your neck, and I'm not going to be able to heal that as easily. Now, this is because the Precy Squares, from what we basically know about it, because we have never actually seen it, Yes. Uh, I recommend them putting it in the next uh, Star Trek movie. Yes, exactly. Wouldn't that be great? So anyways, it, it has multi-levels. And so there, it's got different levels off the ground. Oh, wow. Um, now, supposedly, based on some random thing that I read on a uh, Star Trek wiki, nice. uh, the reason for this is because when it was originally played, it was played on this place where the terrain was like this kind of craggy terrain. And so the actual Parisi squares were created by nature. Oh, interesting. Um, but, but it's got these different levels that are at different points off the ground. Uh, it also is played by only four members of each team. Mm -hmm. We've been challenged to a friend the game of Parisi Parisi squares by some of the maintenance personnel. Want to join us on the starbase? You've already got all the players you need. And according to Riker, you don't want to sub anyone in because that ruins the flow of the game. So that means it's just these four people on your team playing the entire game. And this was serious non-beard Riker, so you yeah. know he's telling the truth. So that's what's interesting about Parisi squares. Oh, also, 
because it's Star Trek, you might be playing with a Klingon. That's you always more violent. And that's always way more violent. Exactly. So the thing about Parisi Squares is the fact is you never see it, like yeah. we talked about before. So, I mean, that alone is scary enough because it's the unknown. Yeah. And we also know that, like, you know, it is super dangerous. I mean, they had that episode of Voyager where the doctor made himself a holographic family <laughs> and, like, the computer decided to just kill off his young daughter, who was the star of the fictional Parisi Square team in the computer that never really existed, but she died from injuries of Parisi Squares. Which means Parisi Squares is super violent. She suffered severe cranial trauma. It's compromised her brain stem and motor cortex. The question remains for us to discuss what is more badass uh, in the world of fictional sports. Is it Quidditch or Parisi Squares? Okay, now on the one hand, when it comes to Quidditch, they're wizards. Yes. Which, uh, which first off means that they are flying around so they can go way higher off the ground and fall from a much greater distance. Yeah. But they can use magic to fix broken bones. That's a good point. I mean, they can't fix death, but they can fix broken right. bones. But I mean, if you but fall from a good... far enough and someone can't stop you, you're like totally dead. Right, but if you got Dumbledore there, I, I don't think he's going to let too many students fall to their death. Maybe Dumbledore won't always be there, anime. It's true. That's kind of the thing with Quidditch is it's both super, super violent because they're wizards, mm-hmm. but but also, you know, probably no one's actually going to die playing Quidditch. And because the balls are enchanted, you could end up with a rogue blodger, like that time that Davi enchanted <laughs> the blodger and it went after Harry. That was awesome, exactly. But, you know, when it comes to Parisi Squares, they're just, I mean, they're either human mm-hmm. or they're like, um, you know, clean on or whatever. But it's not like the Q continuum is yeah. playing. It's not like the god characters from Star Trek are playing. They're human. And so even though they have like special 24th century medicine, at the end of the day, you know, a broken neck is still a real bad thing. Yeah, if you fall off and hit your head on the corner, you could still die immediately. I was in the gym playing Parisi Squares. Parisi Squares? Fell off the ramp. At your age, you could break your neck. What is the most badass of the fantasy sci-fi sports? Anime, what is your judgment? You know, however much I love Star Trek, I think it's got to be Quidditch. I kind of have to agree with you, honestly. I mean, what the great thing about Harry Potter is the Quidditch stuff is really interesting. Yeah. It's really fun. It's really, like, high octane. So but I got to go with that. I do think that there are some members of the Star Trek team. I think Riker would <laughs> totally be up for a game of Quidditch. If he had the opportunity, he would play. I agree with that. All right, guys, what do you think is the most awesome badass sport in the world of sci-fi and fantasy? We only named two different things. There's a lot other ones, so let us know in the comments down below. Either way, if you want to listen to our radio show, we're on every week on Indie 100 and The Point. And if you want to get in touch with us, you can send us an email to geekworldradio at yahoo.com, and be sure to check out our website, geekworldradio.com. Hey, anime, let's go get some blue spandex and play some Parisi Squares. Hell yeah. Bye!